Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our second annual company update via video at the headquarters of Amac Aerospace here in Basel, Switzerland. We'd like to give you a first-hand update on our achievements, projects and business development in general. We will be updating you on how we managed in the last 12 months, what's keeping us busy these days and which exciting projects await us in the near future. My name is Walid Mohadeen. I'm the Director of Business Development and Marketing for Amac Aerospace. I'm pleased to welcome you in our hangar number no. 5, which we finished this spring. And I'm standing here in the midst of where we're working on all our maintenance projects. Let me now welcome our Executive Chairman and CEO, Mr. Kadri Mohideen. He'll give us a short overview on how we managed our business in the last 12 months. Mr. Mohideen. The current situation is challenging the aviation industry on a global level. How did we perform as AMAC Aerospace group of companies since we had our last video update last year? Well, Walid, you know that the world is still facing challenges. People are facing difficulties to continue uh, with their jobs. But since you and I interviewed last year, uh, nothing changed for AMAC. In fact, we continue to have growth, but this year is slower than last year, uh, despite the fact that COVID has interrupted the business worldwide. Soon we will be integrating Gamut Limited, a company 30 years old based in the UK, specialized in technical support in the aviation industry. And also, before the end of this year, we shall be having a regional presence in one of the largest countries in the Arabian Gulf, being Saudi Arabia. All this is because of the continuous demand from our customers. No doubt our group CEO and group CFO will expand on this to you later on. So, from your above statement, AMAC didn't register any decline in business requests? Fortunately not. AMACs continue to grow and our clientele is spreading east and west, uh, also south <laughs> to that fact. Uh, we're having uh, a lot of demand coming from the United States, uh, China, Russia, and recently a lot of business coming from Africa. Now the reason one asks why all this uh, demand and uh, the growth of AMAC, I can put it simply to one thing quality. We deliver quality and customers are happy with our standards. So our team here are doing a fantastic job in satisfying our clients. As a management, we give our team full support. There is no bureaucracy in this company. When somebody comes, whether he is a customer or a member of the staff, management or below, they will have a spontaneous and immediate answer. And this is the beauty of flat management. Bureaucracy has no space within AMAC. We don't play this game. So what is the secret that you're still operating without having decreased the number of our workforce? Well, it's not a secret, it's a fact. When your customers are happy, they'll come back again and they will bring others with them for you. Reason for that is our team is a dedicated team in uh, delivering uh, the quality our customer want. And with that increase in demand, you will witness the growth I was talking about earlier. With the growth comes the need to employ more people. So, in essence, we have never stopped employing people uh, since COVID started. Uh, I would say it in a different phrase, since we started AMAC up to last week, we're still employing. We like to bring good caliber people because they are going to be the end result that the customer is looking for. Uh, talking about quality, quality is something that we do not uh, want to jeopardize. They run uh, hand in hand with safety. Of course, our prime concern is that the aircraft is safe for the client to work with or enjoy. Uh, secondly, uh, the, the comfort 
and the uh, real utilization he seeks from us. So when we come to do a project, we don't cut corners. Some clients try to uh, force us into doing a cheap job and cut corners, but in response to that, we walk away from the project. We will not tolerate uh, people trying to change our standards. If anything, we continue to improve our standards. Our employees are a mix of various nationalities and come from a variety of countries. How do we manage this challenge? We're very proud we employ 43 different nationality across the globe from all five continents. It is great to see that this mix of blood all melting in one direction under the umbrella of AMAC Aerospace. We don't take uh, any barriers in employing people. If you are well educated, well qualified, well experienced, then AMAC will give you an opportunity to work. We will uh, teach you, we will support you, and that's how you will raise uh, to be a member of AMAC team and be proud of it. Now, regardless to your ethnics, color of your skin, your belief, your ritual belief, your culture, when you come to AMAC, you're an AMAC team member and you have one task. And that task is to be part of the team. You can go and do what you like after working hours. But here, you are one of AMAC's team. And this gives us joy that when you walk in the hangar, you see different people, different faces, different shape, but they're all doing one job. A unique situation that you cannot see, I think, anywhere, especially in Europe, except AMAC. And we put this also uh, to the flexibility that we have from the Swiss authority that they don't put any barriers between us and our employment requirement. This is a great uh, step that helps in their flexibility that we get the caliber we want. So finally, Mr. Muhyiddin, how does AMAC Aerospace, a group of companies, fit in this global aviation market? Well, that's an interesting question, Walid. Uh, AMAC started operation in 2008 with a small hangar, probably the hangar you see behind me. Uh, although we are young in age, but we are full of uh, experience. Uh, the management and the executive management are all uh, very experienced and talented in the uh, discipline they operate within. AMAC has become a flagship of the uh, aviation industry specific to completion and maintenance. In the last three, four years, we have diversified. We opened uh, two branches of AMAC in Turkey, one in Istanbul and one is in Bodrum. Bodrum is uh, a combined uh, function. We do commercial airplanes and uh, corporate. And also we are seeing the addition of uh, other companies like JCV, like Gamut, the regional place in Lebanon, and the regional uh, representations we're gonna be having in uh, Saudi Arabia. Our customers, when they come to AMAC, it's like they're coming to see friends. We are not uh, seeking business only for making profit. Everybody is working uh, to make living. But when you uh, come to do business, regardless of how much you pay, whether you pay one dollar or a million, important is the result that you are happy. And we see our customers coming back to us um, with their hearts open and their eyes closed. And I think this is it's a very good feeling uh, to see when they come to us. And it also tells a story about not only success, but the personal feeling and treatment we have with our clients. The operation is uh, big, but it's simple. We say one thing is everybody is welcome 
to AMAC and be part of the AMAC family in business and in friendship. Thank you very much for your valuable insights, Mr. Mahdi. Thank you.